Hey all, welcome to the second location of the Jungle Anjay story. So in the last location we saw Judith or Pete whatever. Okay, Pete is to us. So Pete was turned into a monkey after the game did one of its tricks. So some monkeys have taken him away. We will have to rescue him and turn him into a human being. So we are still not sure how we are going to do that. Let me talk to these guys. Okay. It's his turn so we will have to make him play the game. Tapping the game does nothing, so don't try tapping the game or it will just waste a few minutes of animation. I think that's the way back, we will have to come back from that other way. The stone above is not movable from this side, so let's Go ahead, follow Pete. They went inside this building, so let's follow. Okay, this Robin guy is an expert in finding ways because he has spent the last 10 years in a jungle after being lost from this creepy game. So this creepy game is the one who has made, appear, uh, made Robin appear along with us. So he has joined our journey to get back to the normal world, finish this game. These people are standing in the way, so we are unable to dig a few of those tiles back. So once these children move ahead, enter that gate, we have to come back. Okay, <laughs> that's quite funny. Judith is the king of the monkeys now. Before we go further, uh, the children were blocking the way to this tile. So I just came back to dig them now that they have moved forward. So with that done, let's continue. Rescue Judith from the position of a king of these monkeys. Okay, monkey loves bananas. So we've got a lot of bananas for probably all the monkeys. And with that we will probably be able to free Judith. Let's try talking to the monkeys if they agree. Uh, it's not actually talking, we are just placing the bananas on these boxes. The monkeys have actually came to eat those bananas and Pete is free. Okay, Judith refuses to throw the dice. 
Mm, so he will have to throw the dice, but perhaps he wants to go outside first. Okay, there's a reason they were blocking this before. It was actually meant to be used right now. The gate has opened up to the outdoor world. And we were not going back from where we came. So this is a completely different exit. We eventually have to get back there because there was a house that we had not explored. But that's for some another time maybe. It's time to play the game. Come on. So what would it be this time? One drop, two drop, it's fine once it rains all week. Uh, is it going to rain? Maybe this area is going to fill with pond. Oh yes, I was right. It's a flood. And it's receding as well. Okay. Oh, the flood has taken away the game. We have to get back the game because uh, we cannot go back to the regular world until we finish the game. So there it is. Stuck on the side of this pond. It's Sticky who has to go all the way around and fetch it. One of them is too old and others are kids. And they are following us anyway. Okay, we got the game and we are throwing the dice. Let's go. Not a scene or a mountain peak, it's the lake whose eyes will peak. Uh, is it a monster, sea monster? No, it's crocodiles. And now they are chasing Judith. A rope. Yes, that is a good solution. Maybe this house has one. So let's see. There is a key here, not a rope. And there is a rope as well. So that key maybe we will use some day in the future. I mean in some time. Okay, we have pulled Judith up. And crocodiles can't climb that hill. So, fully no more animals. Okay, it's another animal. The fury of animal kingdom. Uh, we are done with the quest. Mm, I did not expect the quest to end here, but anyway. The next sounds are from the city and that will be covered in the next location but for now we have a few tiles that we missed somewhere. Not a few, a lot of tiles, 123 tiles that we had missed. And the key we got from that house is probably used in the earlier house which we had seen. So the 123 tiles, we have a lot, missed a lot of part, there's a treasure part also here. Okay, lot of can't get there because I forgot one tile. Okay, let's get the treasure part. Roses are red, violets are blue, when shrubs and petals are one, the treasure will reveal itself to you. That's nice. So it's quite obvious. Those shrubs there, four of them, will go on the petals here. Uh, 
All right. Let's start one by one. I am going to place one on the farthest petals first because if I place it on the earlier petal it might interrupt and we will face more difficulties taking the other petals to the far areas. So as a thumb of rule I just start with the farthest ones first. That has opened the gate to the treasure. There are several other things here that we can possibly place the shrubs on. But I don't think any of that would constitute to a bonus. So this probably is the other way to reach that house. Which we had earlier seen there was a stone. Which could not be pulled from the other side. So if you have to pull uh, clear all the tiles you will have to follow the same way I did. That key was for this house and I was right. Well, there's nothing much interesting here. So just to get these, we dug a lot of extra tiles. So probably not worth it. Oh, so I have one tile missing and I have not purchased the last tile finder on this account. Well, if you noticed, I used a different account this time instead of my available 130 Egyptian account. Well, I will have to purchase the last tile finder or I will have to manually find it. Let me see how much is the cost of the last tile finder. 50,000 coins, that is way too much. I think I will just manually find it for now. Because last tile finders is not really worth it for Egyptian accounts. You barely left leave out any tiles. I'm just going to have a quick look. And if I'm able to find it, it's well and good. Otherwise, I will still find it, don't worry. Hopefully in this building look like it's in this building all right I found it that was hard to notice Anyway, so we are done here. So thank you for watching. Sorry for the extra time I took in the end. See you in the next location.